Right, I'm going to show you a quick example now of creating schematics automatically from a spreadsheet. <clears throat> the idea here is that you can uh, create a, an Excel spreadsheet with a list of uh, items to build up a project. Now, in the AutoGen folder, I've put some examples in here already. There's a couple which are just macros. So if I go to Input TC, I just place that down. And <clears throat> this is just made up of symbols. So we've got a cable symbol, a terminal symbol, a couple of wires, and right down there at the bottom of PLC. So this is a macro at the moment, so it's all grouped as one item. Just to show you, I can right click and explode this, and these are all separate items. That's a PLC signal symbol, and I can go to electrical and show the connection points on there. You can see that's where it's connecting to at the bottom. Uh, we've got a terminal there, and they've got aliases. They've got hash and a piece of text in there. And in the spreadsheet, we can basically link that through to the macros. We've also got some bits of text, a B and an E, which are just text, but uh, the important part here is that they are attributes start and end for the symbol marker. So under other of the group, they are attributes for the start and end marker. And that means once you've placed one macro, the next one goes across the page and gets placed next to it. And you can position these and decide how wide each one is. So once we have our macros, we have a few in here, we can piece those together using a spreadsheet. Uh, there's one automatically uh, installed in the program folder. This is a slightly different one, but it's the same idea. We've got project information, which is descriptions assigned to the project when it's created. We have page information. In this case, the page description is coming from column D. And then under symbols, we've got the information. I can see column D there is the page description. And then we've got a list of what's going to go onto these pages symbol name, page template, and then information which should be exchanged in the macro. The alias worksheet there tells us what the name, the PLC address, the number, which column it refers to. So back in the drawing, if for instance we've got a cable on there and it says hash cab, we can go back and have a look and say, okay, if it's cab, it should be column Q. And if we scroll across, we should find We've got the cable IDs in column Q. So once we have that information, it's simply a question of right-clicking on the circuit diagram, choosing Auto Diagram. We've got the information here. It's already set up. We could just click on OK, but I'll just show you the workspace, page, and symbol can all be pointed at the right areas. Same with the alias. And once you've set all that up, click OK. We'll delete all pages and let it just generate that information. very quick. <clears throat> Once we've done that we can then have a look and see that it's placed in. Let's turn off those uh, connection points. We can see that we've got the PLC addresses with descriptions. We've got terminals with terminal numbers. We've got cables with cable colors or cores. Go a bit further through we can find we've got some output symbols. Here we've got the addressing on the actual terminal number. We've got different colors for the cable cores. And all this information is just coming from the spreadsheet. So essentially you design all of your, in this case, PLC information in the spreadsheet and then just automatically generate it. This function is available as standard in the, the advanced version and can also be purchased as an additional module for the standard version. That's in version 7, release 12.